Good morning, North Beach kids. It's Teacher Tony and Teacher Trevor here to talk to you about spiders. Hey, that was a pretty cute song, but you know, like most of us, we kind of think spiders are not that cute, right? Kind of creepy, in fact. And uh, we are here, Teacher Trevor and Teacher Tony, to change your minds about spiders. Are you ready, North Beach kids? Are you ready to have your minds blown? Because we are going to blow your minds. Did you guys know that spiders can be found on every continent except for Antarctica? And there are thousands of different types. Actually, 50,000. So, like we said, spiders are pretty creepy. With all those hairy, spiny legs, hiding in dark places, ready to crawl out and scare you. Or even creepier, when they catch other bugs in their web. Oh, creepy. So, I know we're talking about insects and bugs. It's this uh, month, but a spider actually is an arachnid. It's not an insect. And as we know, because you guys have such big brains, an insect has three main body parts. The abdomen, the thorax, which is the middle, and the head. And what's distinctive about insects is that they have wings and they have antennas. Whereas we look over the spider, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. It does not have wings, and it only has two body parts, the abdomen and the head. So like Tony said, a spider has eight legs. See them? On the back side, it's called the spinnerets, and that's where they make their webs. And then on the front, they have their little pointy feelers so they could feel around. And they have eyes, and normally they have more than two. Again, you see the big, the two big uh, body parts, the head and the abdomen. That's the main part of the, the body of the spider. Now, they come in all different sizes. Some are big, some are little. They all have the same parts of the body, though, same amount of legs. And the biggest one is called the Goliath bird-eating spider. So you can imagine that that thing can eat some serious, serious things. And then you got the little dancing spider peacock was tinier, tinier, tinier than your pinky. Now, spiders have some very distinctive features. That means they have things about their, them that are way different than other animals. And we're going to share those with you today. Um, so like we mentioned, they all have eight legs. They spin webs, and not necessarily uh, orbital webs like the ones you see here, but all different types of webs. They have fangs, you guys. Oh, yeah. That's probably why we think they're super creepy, and a lot of them are venomous. And those eyes. Whoa. There's ne Like Teacher Trevor said, there's never just two of them. There are a lot, a lot, a lot of eyes. Like we said before, a spider has eight legs. Can you guys help me count them now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, good job. Hey, Antonio, how do you say eight in Espanol? Very good. Ocho. Now, all spiders are carnivores. So they're predators. That means that they hunt and kill their food. And spiders do this in a couple ways. Most of them, like we see, that, that we know about and we read about, they snare their prey in webs. And they catch their prey and then they eat their prey. Other ones use speed, agility, camouflage, and mimicry to ambush their prey and eat them. Now using... Using uh, the, the web is pretty cool. And um, what, what they do, and we're going to teach you, show you what they do, you know, how they spin their web, why they spin their web. But 
it, that's the one way that a lot of these guys will eat their will eat their um, their prey, and uh, and we'll go into that a little bit detail. But that's one way that they they get their food, and the other one is using camouflage and ambush tactics to catch their prey, and this is a lot of fun. And we've been talking about how insects mimic, and uh, and camouflage and do other things to either stay away from predators or to catch their prey. And we'll talk about that a little more. So webs. Webs are amazing, you guys. We see these guys and they look so pretty. And it starts small in the middle and then it expands outwards. And it's such a cool, cool design. And this is one of the reasons why I think Teacher Trevor and Teacher Tony are gonna change your minds about spiders and, and how cool they really are. So when we think of spiders, there's another really cool superhero that uh, it's got a spider in his name. Does anyone know what the, the big superhero name? Anyone? Oh yeah, Spider-Man. Look at that guy. Now, look what he's doing with his hand. All right, I've seen some of you uh, cheetah boys and, and uh, cheetah girls and honey badger boys and honey badger girls do this with their hand. He's shooting a web. He's shooting a web out of his hands, and that is that comes directly from what real spiders do. They, using their spinnerets, will shoot a silky substance that comes out from their spinnerets and creates a web. So, like Tony said, using their spinnerets, the spiders can produce silk strands for many purposes, but the most common is to make a web which is designed for catching prey. Parts of the web are sticky, obviously so that the prey could stick onto it, while other parts are not sticky, allowing the spider to crawl around everywhere. So, like Teacher Trevor said, they use this, the spiders build, use this large span, and you see like the one that's kind of right through the middle or even on the top there, that, that is the, the very first one. And what they do is they'll shoot from one side of a branch or a rock or a tree. And they will shoot their silk all the way across. And once it catches on a tree, branch, or rock, the spider then tightens the thread. And this is called a bridge line. And usually what they do is they, they put it between two bushes or two you know uh, pieces of wood or, or sticks or trees. And this way, this is how the best way to catch something. So imagine you're a butterfly or a fly and you're flying and then you're just flying looking around for some nectar and then you don't see this thing and boom you get it but look at that design you guys it's really really cool so with the bridge now built the spider can travel back and forth all day long adding more and more strands making the web bigger and bigger after making most of the web the spider lays a sticky strand in the middle in a spiral pattern across the center of the web. This is where it catches its prey. Some of the webs are very, very elaborate and super strong, like this one that was set up to catch flying insects and even animals like birds and bats. That is, has to be a big spider, huh? Imagine walking through the jungle and seeing that. I don't want to see the spider that belongs to that web. Babies, oh cute, cuddly babies, wrong. Spiders lay eggs. And the top left here, those are spider eggs. And what the spider, the mommy spider does, most of the time they will protect those eggs by then laying more of that silk strand to protect them. That way it, if a predator comes along, they see that silky strand and they know it's sticky and they do not want any part of that. So it protects those those babies and even weirder some spiders carry their babies on their backs mama spiders like to carry her babies to find food also to keep them safe from other bigger predators look at all those babies on her back you guys that is one strong mommy spider even weirder this desert spider has a disc on her back that contains 60 to 80 eggs once they are ready to hatch, she pierces the sack and all the babies come running out. Now that is love. 
Whoa, I'm looking at you, North Beach kids. Eyes, ah, you guys. Now, most spiders have, mul actually all spiders have multiple eyes. Some of them are dominant, you know, like the one in the middle. That guy's got two big eyes, looks like big sunglasses. But if you look below it, there's two smaller eyes. But look at all those beautiful eyes, you guys. These spiders, most spiders have very, very excellent eyesight. Because, number one, they want to make sure that no predator is going to catch them. So they can see up, back, behind them. And also, they don't want to miss out on lunch. So they always have their eyes open. So those are some of the cool characteristics about spiders. And now, it's time to talk about some cool spiders. You guys ready? You guys ready to learn about some cool spiders? You guys, anyone want to give this guy a kiss before we go to the next one? All right, here's your first cool spider. And I bet you guys know, or at least heard about this next spider. The Black Widow. Oh yeah. He is ferocious. Now, the Black Widow actually lives near us. I mean, there's some in, in uh, kind of warmer climates, not necessarily San Francisco, but maybe in Marin, maybe in Tiburon, Antonio, maybe in uh, Sonoma. Anyways, they're, re they're really pretty and they're really awesome, but they're also very dangerous. And you can see by that little red kind of hourglass shape, that is a black widow. And they, do, they have that, that coloring and that shape to tell people, stay away from me because I am poisonous. Now, black widows, they can, they've got enough venom that they can really make you sick if they bite you. But doctors have medicine to help you, so they, don't, they won't really kill you. But they can kill other, other uh, animals and their prey. And we'll talk about that a little bit. The next cool spider is the tarantula. Look at the size of that thing. Man, imagine seeing that. Those are the furry, hairy legs. And a lot of tarantulas um, have venom in their, in their fangs, but also a lot of them are, just, are really, really kind. Look at the one on the right. As a matter of fact, when Teacher Tony was younger, uh, I had a pet tarantula. His name was Luke Skywalker. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, Luke Skywalker from Star Wars. He was so cool, and he would... He would um, climb all over us, and uh, we'd let him walk all over our hands. And he was really, really gentle. So, not even though he looks crazy and scary, some of these beautiful creatures are really kind. The next spider is called the ant mimic jumping spider. Why would a spider make itself look like a red ant? They are hunting spiders that don't use webs to catch their prey, but ambush. They then jump on their suspecting prey. <laughs> Usually their prey are insects much larger than themselves, but they are so cool that they can overpower them. And they even move their front legs to look like antennas on ants, allowing them to look and mimic exactly like a red ant. So some of these next uh, spiders are mimicking or camouflaging. We've talked about that throughout the month. They mimic something that's around them. Sometimes they change their color. And like this guy, it's a spider. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got eight legs, but he looks just like an ant. So what he does is he hangs out near the other ants. And so if another bug comes by, they're going to walk by. Oh, pff, I'm not afraid of this little ant. And bam! The ant mimic jumping spider gets him. Oh, look how cute this guy is, Trev. Oh, look, it's a ladybug. It's the ladybird mimic spider. Now, why the heck would a spider try to look like a ladybug? Well, do you guys remember another feature other than being very pretty about ladybugs? Well, they stink. Yeah, remember? They stink. That means when a predator comes to try to eat that pretty ladybug, they remember that P.U. That is not a good smelling bug. I'm out of here. And that is exactly what that spider does. And so what he does, he's, he's, he's mimicked a ladybug or a ladybird. And so another, in, another uh, insect or, or uh, something smaller comes to check it out, you know, having no, no fear of a ladybug because who's afraid of ladybugs? And again, that's when the spider 
he'll go and then he will ambush his prey. Very pretty, very cool. The next spider is called the eight spotted crab spider. These spiders wait in flowers for other insects to come and drink the nectar from them. Then they quickly pounce. One of the largest spiders and it looks like a honeybee. Not sure why it's called the eight spotted spider. Maybe I'll count. S Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Huh. Why is it called the eight spotted crab spider and not the seven spotted crab spider? Again, a very cool way to mimic another animal to, to trick its prey into coming closer to it. Look at those legs, you guys. Now, this one is going to be, this one's so funny. Look at that big thing on the right. What does that look like to you guys? Anyone? Anyone? That kind of looks like bird poop. <laughs> oh, gross. And guess what? That's exactly what this spider is trying to mimic. Bird poop. The bird dung spider. It looks like bird poo. Now, that is really good mimicry. Those guys are very, very cool. But look, in the bottom left, that's not bird poop, guys. That is a spider. Watch out. The next spider is called the wraparound spider. Can anyone guess why this guy or girl is called the wraparound spider? Yeah, you're correct. This adorable little guy wraps himself around branches and twigs, mimicking a bump on the log. But don't be fooled. He's an ambush predator, waiting for unsuspecting prey to be near, and then BOOM! It pounces and gets some lunch. This next spider is super cool, guys. It's called the twig spider, and it looks exactly like a twig. He does this so that he could blend into all the sticks and branches on trees, and wait for little prey to come near, and then once again, he pounces and gets a little snack. Remember the walking stick bug that we talked about? It was so cool. Now this, this twig spider is the master of camouflage, mimicking twigs and surrounding plants. And they even move like the, like the twigs and the leaves like the wind does. It is really cool. It, it, it lets uh, the, the prey get closer, and like Trev said, it pounces. So these guys are ambush predators. Very cool. Hey, teacher Tony, why why are you just showing me a picture of the uh, of a tree here? Oh, look! It looks like there's a spider right there. You're right, Trev. That's the two-tailed spider. Oh, nice. <laughs> the two-tailed spider is sometimes called the long spinneret bark spider. This one looks like it has two tails. Actually, they are long, hairy spinners. This master of camouflage has a tiny set of legs, third from the front. Another neat yet creepy aspect of the spider is that it can blend in in the night, and no one will be able to see it until it's too late. Now, <laughs> this guy is not only the creepiest spider, but actually one of my favorite, because he is... Not only the master of camouflage, master of disguise, he is an amazing, amazing ambush predator. This guy is called the Black Armored Trapdoor Spider. Lifting the door to a camouflage burrow reveals a dark, hairy spider hunkered down. Its legs raid like a fan. It waits patiently for the feel of vibration outside of his hole. Once it senses signs of movement, the spider erupts from its burrow and pounces on its unsuspecting prey and drags into the depths of its lair, which can be several feet underground. If that wasn't scary enough, look at those legs. Now, you guys might not understand the reference to the name of this spider, the Huntsman Spider, but maybe ask your mom and dad. This guy... So cool. He was actually named after a very, very famous musician and singer named David Bowie. And, as a matter of fact, one of the, uh, he was named after a spider after a movie 
that David Bowie was in called Labyrinth. Really, really cool smile. You guys look at those eyes. Oh man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's a spider, all right. You guys ready for the next guy? Or girl. Oh, look at that guy, or girl. These are wood jumping spiders. Look how adorable they are. Now, these guys are super, super cool. And not only are they super cool, they can jump 40 times their length. 40 times, you guys. That means if I was a honey badger cheetah and I was a wood jumping spider, I can jump from North Beach Kids all the way to Joe DiMaggio Playground. That's pretty far. That's exactly what these guys can do. So think about that. Look at the one in the, the, the picture in the middle on the bottom. They can jump from one tree branch all the way to the other one and start spinning their webs. So obviously they can make some really, really big webs. Look at those eyes though, guys. The guy on the top, the bottom left, looks like he's got a helmet on. This cool looking spider is called the wide jawed Vicaria. It's super cool and weird, huh? It's called the wide jawed Vicaria because its jaws are so far apart and its pinchers are super far. This one is also a jumping spider and is super fast and skilled at hunting. And it has really, really good eyesight that allows it to see little tiny insects that it could pounce on. Now, at the beginning of this video, Teacher Trevor and Teacher Tony said, we are gonna change your mind about spiders. Now, look at this mirrored spider, you guys. How pretty is that? I mean, I thought all spiders were icky and creepy and ew, but look how pretty these guys are. Look at, they call it the mirrored spider because of all the tiny little reflective skin it has and it's so awesome and it helps it blend in to its environment because it mirrors the leaves, the branches, and its surroundings. Very, very cool spider, you guys. Now, I saved this guy for last because he's, I just learned about this guy and he actually has become my favorite spider ever. This guy is the net casting ogre face spider. <laughs> Look at him, he looks like a creepy wizard, guys. With, in this, what he's doing with his front, his front legs, looks like he's casting a spell or something, but actually, he's not. You know what he's doing? He's spinning an elastic, sticky net between his front four legs, and then, when he sees his prey, he jumps at it, and he puts that net, basically, on its prey to capture it. That is pretty cool. Oh, man, he's got two large eyes and four smaller ones. You guys want to see a close-up? Are you sure? All right, here he goes. <laughs> Look at those eyes, you guys. That is crazy. So you can see the big two big eyes and then the two on the bottom. And there's two more on the, on the top that you can't see in this picture, but super, super interesting, right? Yes, a little bit creepy, but very, very cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson that Teacher Trevor and Teacher Tony shared with you guys. I know we had fun putting it together and hope, hopefully we change your mind about spiders. They're not all creepy and they're not all scary and some of them are very, very cute and a lot of them are very, very interesting. Bye guys, thanks for listening. Bye North Beach kids.